Medical authorities tell us that the psychological factor is worse than not eating. It's the fear that kills faster than starvation itself. But it's wiser and far more comforting to provide shelter, food, water, and sanitary conveniences if we hope to live after a bomb falls. This radiation is extremely dangerous. Over a period of time, sufficient quantities of radiation can lead to illness or death. Because modern weapons have grown vastly in size, fallout is a serious problem. It may be with us forever. Be alert. Stay alert. You'll not be able to telephone for an ambulance or call the doctor. You'll be on your own. No one knows if you'll ever need a shelter. But in this atomic age, it's what there. The best advice your government can give you is alert today, alive tomorrow. Five, four, three, two, one. Since we like our foods concentrated and readily available for use, we might label our nuclear weapons instant death. There's no doubt about it. If you live within a few miles of where one of these bombs strike, you'll die instantly. You'll also die if you live downwind from where the bomb falls, even a few hundred miles away. It may be a slow and lingering death, but it would be equally as final as the death from the bomb blast itself.
may be safe for you to leave your house after a few hours, or it may be as long as two weeks or more. Two weeks with very little food or water, tension, unaccustomed closeness. Two weeks with sanitary facilities most likely not operating. No lights, no phone.
with his grasp the power to wipe out civilization, practically destroy the earth in today's time. But again, but again, he has the power that can carry him into outer space. For the first time in history, his foot is on the threshold of the back of the illimitable universe. Here before us is the tremendous potential of benefit or of destruction, of good or of glory. Who will decide which is right? room cloud forms, these particles are made radioactive, for as they cool and condense, they are contaminated by residue from the bomb. These particles, when they fall back to Earth, are what we call radioactive fallout. Ha! 
frightened at what you're finding out here in this area that can't be measured in either time or space? I, you see, that's a real point. Uh, I only get frightened when, and it happens very rarely, I, I think I have an idea. Uh, that is, what people find isn't frightening, but the understanding of it sometimes has this quality. I remember a man who was my teacher in Göttingen, who's in Chicago now, James Frank. He said, the only way I can tell whether my thoughts are, really have some weight to them, is the sense of terror when I think of something new. Is, is it true that, uh, that humans have already discovered a method of destroying humanity? Not quite, not quite. Um, you can certainly destroy enough of humanity so that only the greatest act of faith can persuade you that what's left will be human. The trouble with secrecy isn't that uh, it doesn't give the public a sense of participation. The trouble with secrecy is that it denies to the government itself the, res the wisdom and the resources of the whole community, of the whole country. The problem of, of, of a coherent civilization is the problem of, of living with ignorance and not, not being frustrated by it. You have to have a free and uncorrupted communication. And this is, this is so the heart of living in a complicated technological world. It is so the heart of freedom. But that is why we are all the time saying, does this really have to be secret? Couldn't you say more about that? Are we really acting in a wise way? Not because we enjoy chattering, um, not because we're not aware of the dangers of the world we live in, but because these dangers cannot be met in any other way. The things that aren't known should be talked about because one of the ways to get things found out is to, is to have it clear that, uh, that we don't know the answers and also one of the ways to, to give people the kind of responsibility and humanity which we would like or think we have is, is that they, they recognize when they don't know something and take their very ignorance into account in their planning. There aren't in fact very many secrets there aren't secrets about the world of nature. There are secrets about the thoughts and intentions of men. This is Connor Red, Red Alert. This is not a test. This is an alert. Take cover immediately, everyone. I repeat, this is not a test. This is Conorad. Take cover immediately. We are under attack. Great. This is real. The voice said it wasn't a test. Take cover immediately. What kind of cover? To where? Where will I go? I wish then that I had attended the civil defense Then the sirens would rise and then fall slowly. Then they would warble like enraged demons. Then it happened. The beginning of our end. such intensity fills the city. And no one could see anything but its exploding brightness. 
then the wave of thermal heat follows the temperature rises to thousands of degrees our city was on fire please, please. somebody help help me please After all, this is the USA. I'm not scared. I'm prepared. We'll be spared. I've got a fallout shelter. It's nine by nine. Jack of wine. Let the missiles fly from nation to nation. Cut it far to time in my radiation station. A parking day supply of multi purpose food. A TV set I'm sure to include. Build a bomb bungalow, one of your own. With no down payment and the government loan. and 
to impress him takes on his multi-armed form,